iOS 26 public beta 2 is over here. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is new in this update. I will be talking about what is new and sharing how what we can expect in terms of performance and battery life. So without any further delay, let's get dive into this video. Now, first of all, this update is out. And if you are on public beta 1, definitely you can install this update. You just get into settings and install this update. Um, you don't have to wait for anything else. Now, if I talk about what is new specifically in this update, now where they get into the settings, so this is the public beta 2 over here. This is the public beta 1. When I get into the settings over here into the public beta 1 and get into the battery life, this is how it looks like. There is nothing new over here. But with the um with the public beta 2, you have I button on the top, as you can see. Over here, there's I button on the top and you can get into this over here because there is a whole new menu now this explains everything about the battery life that view your battery usage information there's information about everything like your battery level graph battery usage graph activity graph last charge everything also there are some articles that can help you to optimize iphone battery charging so there is detail about everything regarding your battery life over here with the iOS 26 public beta 2 which is a really really good thing also you know previously we were hitting the swipe on the camera it was a really weird Apple fix that when you get into your settings get into the camera go all the way down now there is classic mode switching when classic mode switching is turned off camera is swiping really weird well you go right it goes left you can see you go right it goes left it was not making sense at all and it was also really really confusing so finally apple fixed this one which is nice and they bring a toggle i don't know why they give you an option like this one should be default there is no need of toggle but still there is a toggle and when you turn this on and go back to the camera app now it acts perfectly the way it should act so that's a little change i'm definitely gonna keep this on over here also when you get into your mail app now under inbox there is a text known as gmail it shows the text of your um the service provider email service provider but previously it was showing primary as you can see now from primary it is a gmail or if it's um you know if it was outlook it was outlook but that's a small little change in the um, mail app also when you get into your default app all the way down into the apps and default apps there is a little change um over here too so let me show you the public beta one over here so go over here this is the calling it shows facetime phone and whatsapp now instead of phone there is mobile service provider mobile service as you can see there's a new icon new text and that's in also in the public beta too that's also a small little change this is the um, airdrop icon in the share sheet as you can see over here. Now the airdrop icon is also like changed. The UI has changed. And this is the new airdrop icon. This is how it looks like. And it looks really decent. It looks modern. It looks advanced. It looks, you know, liquid glass, all that. And, you know, it's a, uh, another change. N n nice little change. Also, when you are on your home screen and you go to the jiggle mode, these are the delete icons, straight, simple. But now the delete icons are also in the liquid glass elements. As you can see, they look nice. Also, the control center is a bit bouncy now. For example, if I go over here, just focus on this. When I do this, it simple swipes up. Simple swipes up, as you can see. But now on the public beta 2, it bounces. As you can see, the icons bounces, this bounces. That look really, really nice. Another, you know, change over here. Now, one thing I noticed that it seems way smoother. It feels smoother. It feels nice over here, being very honest. And definitely, that is what I'm going to test out. And when I test out, I will definitely will be bringing more videos. But yes, it feels smoother. It feels better, being very honest with you. Um, in terms of battery life, definitely I can't say anything about the battery life right away. But definitely with every other beta comes out, we are expecting a better battery life um, than the previous one. That is what I am expecting. Well, that is all from this video. That's the public beta 2. Definitely a real world test video will be coming soon this week. 
on my other channel so make sure to go to channel and check that channel out subscribe it if you are interested in the day in the life videos well that's all from this video and i hope to catch you guys in the next one until that take care peace out